Sagittarius says you are changing your emotional boundaries around God. That's right. God, God and higher self, or you could say higher faith. Okay. You're going to change your emotional boundaries around higher faith. Now, I know a lot of Sagittariuses who were burned literally at the stake in past lives from religions. And so they equate God with a religion. And let me tell you, religious, religions do not hold a patent on God or a trademark on Jesus. Okay. Uh, they just squatted on that shift and nobody stopped them. So you own the relationship to God. You own the belief to God. I think we need Sagittarius to start exploring God and giving us alternative definitions of God and really creating the new me religion. Me religion. I think Sagittarius have to create the new me religion. Okay. So you've got to get, what are you comfortable with when it comes to God? What are you comfortable with when it comes to faith? Because you're going to need it with where you are going. All right. What this does is this instantly makes the quality of life be higher. You have a higher quality of life as a result of being really clear on where your relationships are with the afterlife. And that might be that you finally have faith. That might mean that you have patience. That might mean that you give yourself more time and space because you have this sense that something over your shoulder is helping you. But once you are comfortable with God and the universe and whatever your theory is, then suddenly life is, is going to blossom for you in great ways. Now, this will shift uh, automatically and change your home and family situation. Sagittarius have never been quite comfortable in their own skin. They've never been quite comfortable at home. Every Sag I know is out the door as soon as they get home, whether it was after school or whether they're married to someone, they just aren't homebodies very often. Uh, and I think that's because they've been born to families that were uncomfortable. So the destiny is that you will find your home. Like Dorothy goes home to Kansas, you will find being comfortable in your own skin. You will find feeling good in your home situation, feeling good in your family placement. Even if you're the black sheep, you're going to feel good about it. So your fate is to feel good about your emotional foundation. Now, Mercury is in your sign, Sag. So the Sagittarius are about to get a little chatty, by the way, y'all. So if a, if a Sag comes to your Thanksgiving party, they're going to talk your ear off. Just saying, okay? They're, they got Mercury in their sign right now. Ultimately, what you've got to change is the story and how you treat yourself. Most Sagittarius's I know are always self-deprecating humor. Like, oh, I'm, you know, except for me or except me at 5 a.m. Like they always have this sort of, the way you treat yourself is, I think of it as almost a false humility, no offense. You're sort of putting yourself down a little bit to sort of be with the common people. And I think it's time to own what you're good at and, and be honest with your bad at. Like, I think it's time to change that conversation with how you treat yourself you know, putting yourself at the first of the line, giving yourself going after what you really want. We know you're a soul for the people. You don't have to prove that to us. You're friends with everybody in the planet, even strangers. So start treating yourself the way you treat others. That's really what I would say. Now, what this does is this opens you up to really liking yourself, like Sally Field in her Academy Awards speech. You really like yourself. You really do. Venus opens you up to this new inner friendship and you suddenly feel comfortable in your own skin and you suddenly feel like you are the life of the party, which you are. And so by changing the way you treat yourself and the way you talk to yourself, you open up and really feel like you are your own best friend. And also you probably draw in better friends in your life as a result as well. So go Sag, define your relationship to God. <laughs> It's serious joy, joy, joy.